Hey folks, this is KB from Aviatrix. In this video, we're going to do a quick demo of how you can plan and build a TGW-based security domains and how you can visualize and troubleshoot your new transit architecture. So just to quickly recap, the AWS Transit Gateway scenario we're trying to build is a on-prem data center connected to a whole lot of VPCs in the cloud some of these VPCs are production VPCs, some are shared services, and the others are test dev. And of course, you have the edge location as well. Each of these uh, groups of VPCs have got policies that allow connection between them. For example, shared services to production and test dev, and from on-prem to all of these groups. But between production and test dev, there should be no communication. Each of these groups of VPCs or security domains note that the edge is also a security domain and we have connection policies across these security domains. In this demo, we are going to look at how you can implement the security domains and connection policies using the Aviatrix controller. Okay, let's log into our Aviatrix controller. As soon as I log in to the web UI, the controller gives me my current status of all the connectivity I've provisioned to date. It shows me the gateways and the connectivity across them. The controller goes across accounts, across regions, and even across clouds. So it supports AWS, Azure, and GCP. Now our primary demo here is to showcase how this controller can orchestrate the AWS Transit Gateway. So let's jump right to that. The TGW Orchestrator provides you a few sections under it. You can plan your transit network, you can build it, you can operationalize it by listing and visualizing your environment and even troubleshooting your transit network. So let's start with the plan phase. Under the plan phase, you can create an AWS Transit Gateway. You pick the account, you pick the region, you give the TGW name, and you can also specify an AS number. So let's do this. Let's pick uh, the account name, let's pick a region, and I'm going to give this TGW a name and we're just going to call it the test TGW and uh, I'm going to leave this AS number as 64,5112. When you create a TGW using the Aviatrix controller, it automatically provisions a few security domains attached to the TGW. It creates a default domain within the TGW. It creates a security domain called shared services as specified here and in a short while it will also provision a security domain named uh, edge domain. The edge security domain is meant to connect on premise environments if you had any. Now that the TGW has been created with the security domains provided by uh, Aviatrix you can now optionally create additional security domains. For example, you might want a production security domain, a test security domain, and so on and so forth. So you pick your account, the AWS account where you created the TGW, the region where you have the TGW, and then you can specify your custom security domain. I'm going to call this production. I'm going to create. When I click on add, the AVTX controller automatically creates a new security domain within the TGW. And that's done. Now that you have these isolated security domains, remember when I attach VPCs to these security domains in the build phase, these VPCs within a domain will be able to communicate with each other through the TGW, but not across each other. But there are cases where I want to create that connectivity across security domains, and that's going to be defined by these connection policies. So in our example, I need to pick my TGW, and I want to 
have my shared services VPC communicate with the production VPC. So I go to the shared services VPC, I pick production, and I say add. What this is going to do is let the TGW know that I need my production VPC to be able to communicate with shared services. It makes all the necessary propagation updates, the route table updates in the TGW to enable the communication. In the build section of the TGW orchestrator, we can attach VPCs to the TGW and specify the security domain to place the VPC in. So I let me get the region. This is the account. Here's my TGW. I want to place my VPC in the shared services domain and the VPC I want to attach is VPC 10 and I click attach. In the background the aviatrix controller is attaching the VPC to the TGW making route updates appropriately so that the VPC is able to communicate with other VPCs in the shared services domain and also implement the connection policies to allow cross-domain connectivity. Great, now that we have placed our VPC in the shared services security domain, we can move on to the next sections. But before we go, just to remind you, this is how you would place your VPCs in the right security domains and attach it to the TGW with appropriate connection policies. All right. So now that we've planned and built our environment, we can go look at what we've done so far. So if I go to the view section, under the view section, I get a view of all of the TGWs I've created. I can pick a TGW and click on the domains and look at the domains that I have laid out within the TGW. These are the security domains within this TGW. And within each security domain, I can further uh, drill down into which uh, VPCs are associated with each one of these. So if I go under the production domain, I can click on the associations and I have one VPC under the production domain. And if you had many, of course, it's going to show up here. So in this way, I can have a visual representation of all the TGWs across all accounts across all regions, the domains that have been specified in each of the TGWs, and what VPCs are associated with those domains. Now next, let's look at how you can troubleshoot a potential problem. Now let's say there were two instances that were able to communicate with each other yesterday, but today the communication is broken. There's been a support ticket that's been raised and you're on the hook to solve it. So how do you go about doing that? Well, the test section of the TGW Orchestrator allows you to conveniently get to the bottom of the problem pretty quickly. It gives you a source and destination pane. So on the left hand side, you can pick your region, you can pick what VPC you want uh, to troubleshoot, you pick uh, query resources and gives you the uh, EC2 instances in that VPC. Similarly, I go ahead and pick a different VPC here. All right, so I'm going to pick instance one and instance two that I want to debug and I can click on flight path. When I do that the controller is going to pull all the relevant information that you need to investigate and get to the bottom of this problem and it lays out side by side the instance, the security groups of the instance, the route tables, the network ACLs, so that you can quickly identify whether there is a security group issue, a route table issue, or a TGW connectivity issue without having to open seven different tabs on the AWS console. Again, let's quickly recap. The TGW orchestrator has 
multiple sections under it. The plant section allows you to create a TGW, define security domains, and create connection policies across the security domains. Once you have planned that out under the build section, you get to drop VPCs into these various TGW security domains. And then you can list and view your transit network. And finally, there are tools in this controller to help you quickly troubleshoot issues that might arise. All right, folks, that's it for now. There are a lot more topics we can talk about, but we will address that in a different video. You can get more information about the TGW Orchestrator and how to get started with the AWS controller at aviatrix.com. If you have any immediate questions or pressing pain points, please do send an email to info at aviatrix.com. Thank you for watching.